All right, this is going to upset some people for sure. This was Indiana Fever head coach Christy Sides talking about Christy Wallace, who has been uh, a sore spot in the starting lineup for the team for sure. When it comes to you have four, you've had four starters in double figures kind of consistently the past four or five games. Just what do you see Christy Wallace's role as in the starting lineup? Yeah, you know Christy always draws that best opposing team's offensive player. I mean, she's got her work cut out for, for her. I thought she did a really good job on Marina Mabry uh, the other day. Um, I think she had nine points at half. I mean, she's getting some open looks just because of what I talked about, about the attention that Caitlin draws and that Kelsey draws and A.B. draws, you know. So, I mean, she's going to be ready. She's a fighter. Um, she's always working. Um, she's a dog. I love that in her. So, obviously, Side's a big fan of Wallace personally, right? That seems to be a a theme, a a um, part of of that answer there from the the Fever head coach. And you have to understand the interpersonal dynamics there, of course, that are going to take place when you have a coach working one on one with a player and and seeing what a player is doing and and all those things. The bottom line, though, is Wallace has not been productive enough for the Fever in that spot. I mean, I think two of the issues this team has had are one, defensively and on the boards. And that was exposed by Angel Reese in the Chicago Sky when Reese just took Melissa Smith apart on the interior. Maybe that's one of the reasons you saw the move that was made with with Taylor being uh, released, waived in, in favor of Dantas and that size that could be there. Now, I know people were upset uh, about the, 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 the Taylor move, due to the lack of perimeter defense and overall athleticism on the team. When it comes to Wallace specifically, you know, on the offensive end, every other starter has produced and contributed consistently. Obviously Clark, obviously Boston, obviously Mitchell and Smith as well. The sore spot there has been Christy Wallace. And at this point, I'm not sure why something else wouldn't be tried. Now the the coach herself is seeing this every day. Um, obviously, you know, one thing that could make things a little bit different for Wallace is if she were to hit some open threes. I, I you know the the data also backs up the fact that she hasn't really produced well for the team. There was the the infamous clip of Caitlin Clark clearly getting frustrated with Wallace as well. So it's, it's not just, you know, about the, the lack of scoring necessarily as much as it is also about other things out on the court. You know, you could see Caitlin Clark upset in, in that moment during that game. And Wallace is just not hitting her open shots when she's passed to, I mean, that would be the, the thing that would earn her minutes or, or, respect or keep her in that starting lineup would be if she just really there's two things well there's three things they need from that position defense they need open shot making and they need somebody who can run the floor catch the ball and finish a layup I mean really that's it you know you don't they have enough creation shot scoring and all that but they can't have Wallace shooting 29% from three on three attempts a game. That is not going to cut it for this team. It's not going to cut it for this team. And sides will be forced into making a change in that starting lineup if things don't turn around from that spot soon. If she doesn't do it in the, I mean, that doesn't, what she said doesn't mean she won't make the, the change. But I, I just know that fans are going to be upset by that show of support at all.